So brachytherapy is a favorite topic to discuss, and that includes both loose seed and HDR types brachytherapy. So let's cover eye plaques. You may be shown a picture and be asked, what is this? What does COM stand for? How do you choose the plaque size required for each patient? What is the prescription? What do we need for planning purposes in terms of the tumor size? And what is the process of planning like? So this is a typical eye plaque and COMS, I won't write it all out here, but it stands for Collaborative Ocular Melanoma Study. So the COMS pretty much, they define plaques, first of all, that includes plaque sizes, a lot of the different rules and regulations. They discuss the RX, the dose calcs to just verify and do your second checks, and then reporting for the I-125 treatments. So they're very important in this type of work. Now the plaque size. So plaque sizes are always in even numbers. That's just how they are. So for example, 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter. And what you want to do is take the largest dimension of the tumor and add two millimeters to each side. So for example, uh, let's say the tumor, the radial distance is 14 millimeters. That means you are going to add two millimeters to both sides. So say if that is a tumor, you're gonna add two millimeters here. You're gonna add two millimeters here. So essentially you're going to add the four millimeters, two and two on each side, and your plaque size is going to be 18 millimeters. It's even if you don't do eye plaques, it's important to not only know this, but have some idea of the, the dimensions of the plaques. You don't want to go in there and be like, uh, 50 millimeters. Like, obviously that is way too big. Having some idea of, okay, maybe 18 to 20 millimeters would be a decent plaque size. So now the prescription. So this is 85 gray to the apex of the tumor. And that is given because remember, this is LDR. All of these are seeds that is delivered in one week. And then this is taken out and the seeds obviously no longer will deliver dose to the patients. So apex in one week. Very important you remember the prescription. So now planning purposes. What do you need to know about the tumor size? So in order to get the plaque size, in order for you to do the planning and everything that is necessary, you need the radial, the circumferential, I'm just going to elaborate that, there you go, and then the height of the melanoma that is on the eye. So you need all three things in order to determine not only your planning, but also that plaque size. And then what is the process like? So the Dose calc is based on dimensions, the source ordering and inventory and assay of seeds is necessary done by a physicist. You have to install the seeds in the insert in this plaque right here that is pictured. You also need sterilization of the plaque and anything else you may be using there in surgery and then confirmation of seed count. So that is typically the process for planning. And that is a good overview of eye plaques, not the most detailed of everything. You can go in further detail yourself, but a good overview of what's expected if you have not done eye plaques yourself. Probably a good guide for studying for this exam. They aren't gonna go insanely in detail, but you do need to know the planning process and some of these prescriptions, how they're used, what nuclide you use, things of that nature. So if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching and best of luck studying.